the last one. It's a relic of the Cold War. It's what America thought we needed to keep the Soviet Union at bay, to keep the peace, peace through deterrence. Hi, my name's Dave Haritunian. I'm a tour guide here at the Titan Missile Museum uh, down here in Saharita, Arizona. We're in the control center of the Titan II uh, Missile Museum. That's an emergency action message. Well, unfortunately today for us, this is the real deal. We've been ordered to launch this missile. Everybody thinks we use big red buttons to launch missiles in America. We don't know where that came from. It came from Hollywood. In the real world, we use keys. They do a countdown, three, two, one, launch, turn the keys, that's it. That's all it takes. Uh, we just joined World War III. If the president calls and tells us we made a mistake, there's no stopping this now. These are all shock absorbers. It's all meant to keep all the cableways, all the cables coming from the control center out to the missile stable. Uh, this is where the missile sits. Nine floors of this launch duct had to be kept at 60 degrees at all time, and that would keep the fuel on this missile from boiling. It's important to let people to know what happened, what went on. Try not to make the same mistakes. This is not a memorial or monument to war. This was peace. Our mission and goal down here was peace, peace through deterrence. Now it's not just about a big bomb, it's about the people that work down here keeping America safe.